Hey, I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OS Salt, your source for open source. The time has finally come. After months of data collection on your favorite commands, I have finally compiled a top five command line essential list. So if you don't already know and love these commands, you soon will. Check it out. Stay tuned to the end of the video for a chance to win your copy of Hotspot Shield Elite. Have you ever downloaded something so you can download something? My shame. Well, no more. The power has been in your terminal all along. Just type wget-o so you can rename it to whatever file name you want, and then add the URL where you want to get the file from. And there's our file. Yes, it really is that easy. Have bash continue to resume the download even after your internet cuts out, or set bash to get files at certain times of the day. With all the options it has, you'll never need a download manager again. I'm Bobby. What is your name? Let's be honest here. Graphical based search functions are really lame. And that's where Unix based operating systems really shine with commands like find and locate. Grep can be even more epic since it allows you to search for strings within a file. I need to know where my towel is, so I'm grepping for everything on my computer with the word towel. Lo and behold, there it is, the answer, 42. Of course, there's more practical applications like grepping for tax documents or that missing serial number that's lost in a subdirectory somewhere. VI or Emacs? Don't worry, if you're not ready to choose sides in the editor war yet, Nano is a great option to ease into the world of text editing. If you haven't noticed, Linux is full of text files and learning how to manipulate them is your first step to true computing independence. Sounds cheesy, but it's true. Welcome to the first place you'll try to modify a config file, or maybe even write your first script. Nano is what you see is what you get, so that really helps. Oh, and guess what? It's installed by default in most distros, so you have to give it a try. When you have no control over the command line, restarting can be all too common. But in Bash, you can check out your computer's processes in a way that will beat the pants off of Windows Task Manager. The odds are good that you have an application hogging resources and not even know it. Find out by displaying your processes. Hey there, compiz, I see you. Oh, and it looks like Chromium is running in the background for some reason. We can use good old grep again to narrow down the culprit and then kill it right then and there using the process ID. You'll become addicted to doing this, I promise. Wait a second, why is Unity taking all of my CPU? I can't even begin to cover all the benefits of SSH. It encrypts, it authenticates, it protects all people and fights crime. But seriously, if your terminal was Arkham City, you'd be Batman, of course, and SSH would be Oracle. Always by your side, and you'd be a dummy not to utilize her abilities. I guess SSH is a girl now? Either way, it provides you with a secure connection to a computer on a local network or anywhere in the world. They censor the internet here in Thailand, so I SSH to the US. Once you've set up your SSH server, you can run applications on it remotely, share files securely with SFTP, and so much more. I've done a whole video about SSH, so I'm pretty passionate about it. Oh, and for a bonus command, if you need to shut down your computer in a hurry, just type sudo halt. Oh no! Oopsies, sorry about that. I like it though, the terminal never plays you for a fool. Bash literally always does exactly what you say, and how many things in life do that? And guys, thank you so much for all of your suggestions on command line essentials. I've talked in depth about some of the commands on this list, so you know what to do at the end of the video. Oh, and not to mention I've had some pretty hilariously good terminal fun. Thanks for watching another segment of my Bash series, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode of All Things Open Source. You must say, there is no system but GNU, and Linux is one of its kernels. So you want to surf the web securely and anonymously. No problem, we all want this. Just need a couple things. SSL. SSH, proper authentication, encrypted tunneling, and confidentiality. Or you could just skip that and have Hotspot Shield help you for free. Let's talk about how it works. As soon as you click on, Hotspot Shield goes to work, exchanging trusted keys on your computer with the Hotspot Shield servers. Once these computers verify each other as genuine, all your internet traffic is then encrypted and secured. Congrats, you're now Hotspot Shielded. 
So go ahead and try it for free in the link below and that will also give you a chance to win an elite subscription that we're going to be giving away. So make sure to keep me on the radar with your social media networks and I will announce the winners in the coming weeks.